like and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you. Viroy and King Von were known to be O-Block top shooters. The two had allegedly put in a lot of work for the gang. In 2012, they were allegedly involved in over 20 shootings and 7 murders. They helped make O-Block a feared set. After O.D. Perry was killed, Wake City began looking weak. Members of STLEBT let K.I. claim the body. For years, many believed that O.D. Perry was killed by a 14-year-old girl. The bigger Chief Keef got, the deadlier the war got. O-Block became the most famous gang in Chicago. Drill fans believed that O-Block was one of the most dangerous places in the world. The ops did their best to expose the gang. But T-Roy and King Von made that hard to do. The two kept O-Block relevant in the streets by constantly sliding on their ops. This is their story. James Johnson was born October 30, 1993 in Chicago, Illinois. He grew up in Parkway Gardens with his two brothers and sister. His older brother Slutty claimed Ada Park. Wake City wasn't formed yet. Parkway was a fun place to hang out. Gang members from all over the city had friends, family members and even girlfriends who lived there. Most of the gang members were black disciples. A lot of T-Roy family members grew up in Parkway Gardens as well. T-Roy enjoyed dancing and playing with his friends at the time. He would eventually become good friends with people such as Whitey, J Money, E Dog, Chief Keef among others. King Von moved to Parkway Gardens with his mother and her boyfriend in 2009. At the time Von claimed Kill Award. He didn't know anyone in Parkway at the time. One of the first people he met there was Whitey. Whitey lived in the building next to Von. King Von didn't stop hanging around his friends from Kill Award. Kill Award is a mostly gangster disciple set. Von and several other members were black disciples. A few Kill Award members were friends with FBG Duck and other STL members. Von quickly became friends with the shorties in Parkway Gardens. This was in the beginning of Wick City days. At the time, O.D. Perry was allegedly the gang's top shooter. And was also allegedly a top shooter for Buff City. He claimed both Wick City and Buff City. All the shorties in Parkway Gardens looked up to him. Although King Von didn't claim Wick City at the time, he became close to many of the young members. Kill Award didn't have a problem with Von hanging out with Wick City, but STL and Jero City did. But and a few other Jero City members knew about Von hanging out with Wick City, but kept it a secret. One day after school, Von gets into it with a Jero City member on the school bus. The Jero City member calls up FBG Buddha and tell him to beat up Von. Buddha along with FBG Duck, Brick and other Jero City, STL, EBT members, rush to the bus stop to jump Von. When the school bus stopped to let off the students, Buddha and Brick allegedly made the driver turn off the bus, and Buddha jumped on King Von. According to Buddha, Von wasn't scared to fight. After beating Von up on the bus, Buddha and the other Jero City STL, EBT members wanted to kill a 16-year-old Von, but luckily members of Kill Award were present to save him. The tug-of-war match took place between Kill Award and Jero City STL EBT members. Von was the rope. As both sides were pulling on Von, STL members such as Medell punches Von in the face multiple times leaving bruises. Luckily the police came to the scene and broke it up. This was the end of King Von and Duck's friendship. Von made it back to Parkway Gardens with a body full of bruises. He wanted revenge. In January of 2011, King Von go and serve 13 months in juvenile detention for violating court orders. While he was serving time, the war on the streets was escalating. 
O.D. Perry and Tooker were both killed. Wick City was now known as O Block. This is when T-Roy began making a name for himself. It started off with him protecting the neighborhood. T-Roy stood only 5 feet tall and weighed around 110 pounds. He was too small to be a fighter. T-Roy was one of the first shorties in O Block to play with guns. In December of 2011, T-Roy allegedly catch his first body. 16-year-old Dale Fisher was shot and killed walking to the store with a friend when a silver car pulled up and a gunman leaned out and opened fire. Dale was shot several times in the chest. He was pronounced dead at John H. Stroger Jr. Hospital of Cook County shortly after. T-Roy was now a killer. When Vaughn was released in 2012, he was impressed with the work T-Roy put in. At this time, Vaughn didn't have any bodies and wasn't known to be a savage. He began claiming O Block and hanging out with Whitey. Vaughn quickly made a name for himself in O Block by fighting. Once other members such as BJ, Boss Top, J Money all seen that Vaughn was willing to fight anyone, they took a liking to him. On April 28, 2012, T-Roy allegedly catches his second body. 21-year-old Marlon Monroe also known as Doc from EBT, was shot and killed walking to the store. After doing a painting job for a family member, Doc was walking to the store to get a drink when a car pulled up and a gunman leaned out and opened fire striking Doc in the chest. Doc stumbled and fell into a patch of tall weeds in an empty lot next to the store and died. His body was found by his younger cousin Medell hours later. Heroi now allegedly had two bodies. Dale and Doc were both killed in drive-by shootings. This is when T-Roy became O Block's top shooter. His name began ringing bells in the streets. On August 8, 2012, T-Roy allegedly catches his third body. 28-year-old Terrell Joshua, also known as Dirty Rel, was shot and killed around 3.30 in the morning. Later that day, Jero City went out and got revenge. King Von was hanging out with Whitey and other O Block members in Parkway Gardens. It was the day before Von's 18th birthday. At around 11.28 p.m., Von and Whitey made a run to the store on the 6300 block of King Drive. Whitey stood outside in front of the store while Von went in. Two or three minutes later, 50 shots from Jero City runs up and open fire. A bullet struck Whitey in the back. Some police officers were sitting on the corner patrolling the area. They witnessed the whole thing and went after 50 shots. 50 shots allegedly began shooting at the officers, but was quickly shot and forced to surrender. Whitey was later pronounced dead at Stroger Hospital of Cook County. He was 19 years old. After Whitey was killed, King Von and Tiroy became close friends. The two began sliding together, and Vaughn would eventually catch his first body. King Vaughn allegedly caught his first body in September of 2012, a month after Whitey was killed. The person he killed is unknown. On October 13, 2012, King Vaughn catch his second body. It was on a Saturday night. Vaughn along with T-Roy and J-Money were out looking for ops. They decided to go to the 6300 block of roads. At around 9.30 p.m., Medell along with his cousin Miles, Richie Jerk and Lil P, were standing in front of a house talking to a female. When King Von ran up and shot Medell several times in the chest. As Miles tried to rescue his younger cousin, King Von shoots him five times. Miles and Medell both were rushed to the hospital. Miles luckily survived, but Medell was later pronounced dead. He was 17 years old. King Von hated STL. Not only for killing his friends, but for jumping him back in 2010. People such as Medell, FBG Duck, Brick, Buddha and even Tuka was on Von's hit list for a long time. He was now ready to bully the Tukaville gang. At the time, STL had only two real killers in the crew, and they wasn't as active as Von and Tiroy. Shooting up Tukaville was a piece of cake for Von and Tiroy. Every other day they slid on their ops just to have something to do. The two weren't hustlers. For money they would rob drug dealers or break in homes. King Von kept a girlfriend with a job and car. He would often use their cars to do hits.
Ping Von was now a killer. Shortly after killing Medell, Bun went to social media and informed everyone that he's no longer hanging out with Tiroy because Tiroy was winning. This is when Bun became a member of 600. He became close to members such as D Rose, C Day, L A Capone, Memo, and several other of the older members of 600. On October 30th of that year, just weeks after Medell was killed, King Von, along with members of 600, allegedly shot and killed P5 Crack from Jero City. The whole thing was allegedly set up by J Money. P5 Crack was allegedly in a relationship with J Money's child mother. At around 9:13 in the morning, P5 Crack was shot 16 times outside of his apartment. He was pronounced dead at around 9.35 at John H. Stroger Jr. Hospital. P5 Crack was 23 years old. This was King Vaughn's third body. He was now caught up with Tiroy. On November 8 of that year, STL member Bostrell was shot and killed. Bon and Tiroy pretty much claimed the body. But it was made clear by Bostrell friends and family that Oplock didn't have anything to do with his murder. On the 19th of that month, King Von allegedly catches his fourth body. At around 8.20 p.m., a 32-year-old man by the name of James Holman was shot and killed. On November 20, King Von went to jail for a gun possession. He wouldn't be released until February of 2014. While Vaughn was serving his time, Tiroy was still out on the street putting in work. In 2013, Tiroy allegedly catch his fourth body. In November of that year, Tiroy and Big A was allegedly shooting a KI and accidentally shot an innocent man who was sitting at the bus stop. Twenty thirteen was a huge year for Oblock. Chief Keefe was now a star. He had just signed a six million dollar deal with Interscope Records. T Roy and other Oblock members felt like stars as well. Oblock was now the biggest thing in Chicago. A whole lot of jealousy began taking place in the city. Many other gangs wanted to be affiliated with Oblock for clout. Killing someone from Oblock was a big deal. Their circle has always been small. BJ, Boss Top, C Murder, Duke, E Dog, J Money, Trey Five, Big A, and T Roy were pretty much the top members at the time. Chief Keefe wasn't able to move them all out of the hood, so they were still living in Oak Lock and going to war. I saw him in my Oh, he got bubbles. Ping Von was released from jail in February of 2014. Him and Tiroy immediately began sliding together. They wanted revenge for J Money. Lil B and KI were their main targets at the time. In March of that year, Lil Mark from 051 Young Money released Drill Classic No Competition. In the song Lil Mark dissed deceased Oplock 600 Lam members. He even dissed OTF and Lil Reese. Three days later Lil Mark was allegedly shot and killed by a 600 member. King Von was allegedly there when the hit took place. Took off 
Body down, 51st game. Man, that- The very next day on March 29th, Lil B was shot and killed by the Chicago police. This was a major loss for EBT and STL both. Lil B was their number one shooter. Around this time C Murder was allegedly shot by Blood Money. Oblock wanted revenge. On April 9th King Von and Tiroy allegedly murder Blood Money. This was allegedly both King Von and Tiroy's fifth body. At the time Tiroy was on the run from the law. He turned himself in on April 11th, just two days after Blood Money was killed. On that same day, King Von killed K.I. in broad daylight. She was shot seven times including into the neck and face. Smoke was still coming from her neck when the police arrived. FBG Buddha and the 34-year-old was shot as well. The 34-year-old man was transported to the hospital and Buddha went home to his mother. He was afraid to go to the hospital because he had warrants. King Von tried his best to kill FBG Buddha that day. But Buddha managed to escape with a broken knee. Von was arrested for K.I.'s murder but was released days later when witnesses changed their stories. This was King Von's sixth body in only two years. He was now a serial killer at the age 19. One thing each of his victims had in common is they were all shot several times. Von was now the man in O-Block. He had more bodies than any other member at the time, including Tiroy. People from STLEBT snitched on Von about the K.I. murder but that didn't matter to Vaughn. He continued sliding and taunting the ops on social media. On May 29th of that year, King Vaughn catches his seventh and final body. King Vaughn was invited to an afternoon birthday party by a friend. Everything was going okay until Vaughn spotted two of his ops. After exchanging words with the ops, Vaughn leaves and pick up Big Mike. He told a partygoer on the phone that he'd be back and advised them to take the children inside. Minutes later King Von returned to the party. Him and Big Mike cut through an alley behind the house. Just when Malcolm Stuckey stepped onto the sidewalk to smoke a cigar, Von and Big Mike stepped out the cut. They were seen by one of the ops who was sitting on the porch. The op take off running. King Von began firing at him. As he chased down the ops he shouted why you running. Big Mike shot one guy in the foot and King Von shot the other op in the face leaving him for dead. 19-year-old Malcolm Stuckey was shot four times, including in the head. He died on the scene. In July of 2014, King Von was arrested for the murder of Malcolm Stuckey. This was the end of his killing spree. While Vaughn was serving time Tiroy continued putting work in on the streets. He didn't catch any more bodies that we're aware of, but it's safe to say he shot a few more people. Tiroy and Vaughn stayed in touch with each other. At the time, Vaughn was fighting for his life and was in need for a good lawyer. Tiroy did his best to come up with lawyer money. Unfortunately he was shot and killed by TB on February 14, 2017. He was 23 years old. This was a dark time for O-Block members. T-Roy was just as loved as O.D. Perry. O'Block and 600 formed the Get Back Gang and got revenge for T-Roy. King Von could do nothing but cry in his cell. Big Mike decided not to rat on King Von and was charged with the shooting. He was sentenced to 28 years in prison. It took the Chicago police over a year to recover the murder weapon. After recovering the murder weapon, witnesses no longer wanted to testify against King Von. One witness was even shot and killed. Due to a lack of evidence all charges were dropped and King Von was released from Cook County Jail in December 6, 2017. Oh, man, what's up? Oh, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Von started rapping in jail back in 2014 but didn't take it serious. Many don't know that Wooski from STL is the main person who inspired Von to rap. The two hung out in jail. In 2017, Wooski wrote his verses to computers in jail. Everyone knew that Wooski was about to be a star. This is when King Von started writing and taking rap serious. He knew that the streets would love him like they loved Wooski due to his street cred. Unlike Wooski, Von had connections. 
he began working with Lil Durk, and in August of 2018, King Von released his first song, Problems. By 2020 King Von was one of the biggest rappers in the game. He was now making millions of dollars. The war between Oak Lock and Tukaville could have ended right then and there. It was clear that FBG Duck only wanted to make music and support his family. He even dropped Chicago Legends hoping to bring peace. But King Von had other plans. His hate for STL was too deep. Girl music wasn't the same after FBG Duck was killed. He was the voice of the underdogs. Since 2011 we watch him fight his way in the game. Some call him the Rocky Balboa of Drill. No matter how hard his ops came at him on wax, Duck always managed to come back even harder. He helped make Drill what it is today. Ping Von and Tiroi were both shot and killed. They both rolled around on the ground and fought for their lives when they were shot as well. It's obvious that they both suffered. Live by the sword you die by the sword. King Von and Tiroi both killed a lot of people and destroyed a lot of dreams. The two were addicted to killing as if it was a drug. They showed their victims no mercy. Well, this was the T-Roy and V-Roy story. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.